First, I gotta say thank you so much for the invite. Uh, every year, almost every year with the uh, indie, I always love coming here to William Ashley because I get to see, I get to be up close on the prize that these drivers will be able to receive. How does it feel being able to make something that is, um, how do I put this? Represents the courage the enthusiasm and the excitement that these drivers present on the track and for the fans as well too. It's a huge skill set that these drivers have and it's like I always admired them on the race day of what they're able to accomplish with what they're doing and the same thing is true with all the product that we do carry in our store. We carry a lot of quality brands and Waterford is one of the oldest companies that actually produces crystal. So we felt that it was a great partnership to partner up with Waterford on these trophies to represent the race. It's a very unique piece and I don't think there's anything like it around uh, in the racetrack these days with the trophies that we are awarding here. They're actually handmade and mouth blown in Waterford, Ireland. Uh, actually, the, we can see it on the back of here. There's actually the silhouette of the Toronto skyline, making it very special for this specific race of the Honda in the here in town with the race cars in the front of the trophies. It is a beautiful piece to receive. It literally takes them 48 hours to make just this one trophy. Uh, so there's a lot of trained, experienced craftsmen that actually are working on these trophies. And I think it's a great partnership that we have now for eight years with the Honda in the uh, to sponsor these beautiful trophies for the teams. And I, as far as I understand, I think they really enjoy receiving them. As much as there has been an accident in 2013 with one of them, uh, Sebastian, who actually was here today, uh, he, I think, will never live down to that one, that he dropped one in 2013 when he received many. But he actually has collected one of each so far. So Sebastian literally has the first, the second, and the third at home. So it's a great collection for him. So. And I was going to ask, too, how do you protect protect this leading up to the race, you know, before the drivers get it. It's got to be a tough situation to do. It's interesting because we have them also on display at the race for the entire weekend. So the trick is usually during the race, we have to move them to the winner's circle. And in the past, in the first two years when we actually were partnering with them, we were on the other side of the track. So we had to find an opening when the race tracks were in hot to drive them across to make sure they're making it safely into the winner's circle. So it's always an interesting, fun challenge to make sure nothing happens in the process to them. But our team has been now doing it for eight years and they're quite experienced in making sure nothing happens to these trophies till race day. So, so far, fingers crossed, it stays the same for this year as well. Is there an actual price on the first, second, and third? Do we have an estimate maybe? Uh, I know for sure this price point, uh, this one is actually uh, $5,500, this trophy. The other two I'm not as familiar with, uh, but they're definitely quite a few hundred dollars as well, because they're all made in Ireland. So all of these are still made in Europe and they're handmade. So there's a lot of craftsmanship going in. But yes, this one I know for sure would retail for around $5,000. So what's it like for you though when you're watching the Honda Indy Toronto race and you see these gentlemen, the winners, yeah. first, second and third, holding up something that you guys have been able to create? We are really, really proud of it. It is a pleasure actually to say I'm usually there when they're presenting them so I'm actually on site and I believe this year I'm actually giving one of those out myself even so it is actually very proud for us to be there to be there on site and actually experiencing the trophies being awarded so it's really 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 exciting so I just found out like literally a few moments ago that I will be doing uh, again the main race as well this year so it's exciting it's fun I love it congratulations look William Ashley has so many great things if people want to get more information and of course you have a new location too yes, yes. Um, if you want to talk about that very quickly, how do we get in touch, website, Twitter, any of that stuff? We definitely have an Instagram as well as we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook. We also have our website, williamashley.com. Uh, we have literally just opened uh, late April in our bright new location here in the Colonnade. It's a historic building in the city of Toronto and we are, as always, like for 71 years on the Mink Mall of Toronto. So it hasn't changed. Uh, we still have a beautiful car outside on teacups that's actually moving today to the exhibition place but we're very very excited to be back again uh, in a brand new store on Bloor Street to carry on the legacy of William Ashley for the last seven years. Before we go and thank you for mentioning about the uh, race how long does it take to get something set up like that to be done so 
perfectly. The team usually takes a few hours. It's done within a day. Wait, a few hours? you got to be yes. kidding. I would think two weeks. <laughs> no, the team is actually really good about that one. And so far, and it's always the crucial rule that we have every year, the team always says only give us four cup and sauces. If you give us more than four cup and sauces, it's bad luck. So, so far, even in the setup process, we have never broken a single one of these bone china cups uh, because they're actually true English bone china. So people always think bone china, oh my God, it has to be so thin, it has to be so fragile. But actually, contrary to the belief, it's actually extremely strong. That's why we have this display in this partnership with the Honda Indy to showcase the strength of bone china. It's extremely durable. And as you can see, it holds an entire car on four cups. So that's literally over 1,500 pounds supporting this four teacups, this car on top of it. So really, really, really proud of this display. Incredible. Thank you again for the interview. And thank you for putting together something so beautiful for the uh, Honda Indy Tron. Thank you very much. And thanks for being here. We have you back every year. Love looking forward to next year.